Kiati Mundi was not only a powerful Jedi Master, but a Jedi Council member. He was specifically renowned throughout the Jedi Order for being an amazing teacher, with some of his most difficult students being listed as Ashurad Het, among others. Kiati Mundi was a very special Jedi, so special in fact that he was granted by the Jedi Order to take a wife, but more than just a single wife, several, four to be exact. As a Jedi Knight, Kiati Mundi was completely faithful to the Jedi Order, not taking a wife out of fear for attachment leading to the dark side of the Force. In the words and teachings of Yoda though, attachment only in certain Jedi leads to the dark side of the Force. The most famous example of course being the Jedi Anakin Skywalker, but lesser known examples being Jedi Masters such as Quinlan Voss. There were some Jedi though that were permitted to be married, as these attachments did not lead directly to the dark side. Instead, these attachments actually embraced the light side of the Force, as despite popular belief, Jedi were actually encouraged to love those around them. The reason Kiati Mundi was allowed to take multiple wives, as was permitted by the Jedi Council, was because of the low birth rate of his people. Therefore, because Kiati Mundi was fertile, he was allowed to reproduce. Having direct permission from Grandmaster Yoda, Kiati Mundi took four wives, and ultimately he would father seven daughters. Again though, Mundi had to receive specific instruction and permission from the Jedi Order in order to do so, and he was still permitted to sit upon the Jedi Council as one of its premier members. Kiati Mundi would do his best to visit his family, but his obligations as a Jedi Master always came first. His loyalty was to the Force, not to his family first and foremost. As a Jedi Knight though, Mundi had grown closer with his family as he was announced a Jedi Watchman over that planet, and therefore was allowed to return to his home world, specifically by order of Grandmaster Yoda. When concerning his relationship to his very children, he said this, The Jedi Code forbids attachments. I cared for them, but I tried to remain unattached. It was always difficult. Unfortunately for Kiati Mundi though, his entire family would be massacred during the Clone Wars conflict, after the war found itself on his home world. Luckily though, Kiati Mundi was able to hold firm to the light side of the Force. Sadly so, because Kiati Mundi had not grown attached to any of his wives or family members, he did not feel the dark side of the Force as being such as Skywalker would. Because of this, he was able to fight on as a Jedi Council member, despite the deaths of his entire family. It was because he held true to the Jedi code that he remained a Jedi following the death of his family, although deep down secretly, it would burn inside him forever. Just a few months later though, Kiati Mundi would meet his own death during Order 66, and he would yet again join his family by becoming one with the Force. But that is why Jedi Master Council member Kiati Mundi was allowed to get married, and how he received specific permission from the Jedi Council in order to do so, as well as how he maintained the Jedi code despite despite being married and having children. But leave your guys own thoughts on this in the comments down below, and this part of Kiati Mundi's long adventurous life. Do you think that Kiati Mundi should have left the Jedi Order to care for his children and wives, or do you think everything played out perfectly? As always, I would love to hear your thoughts below. Before you go, be sure to check out my other channel, The Marvelous Wave, where we talk all about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, including news, breakdowns, and theories about all upcoming and past Marvel movies. Link to the channel is in the description below. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. May the force be with you and have a great day.